We're reviewing the Clark Mic Booster CM1, and this is a beauty. It's an XLR. So what it is, is if you've ever bought an interface for your computer with XLR, if you have XLR, you have a lot of options with microphones. This is a Shure SM58, which is a pretty cheap microphone, but it has some of the internals as same as the high-end expensive one. So I think this is really a great bang for your buck. Now, if you hook it up to one of these, these are the cheaper interfaces. And if you hook it up to a cheaper interface, what you'll find is when you're talking, that you have to turn up the gain way up. And if you don't turn the gain way up, then you have to talk really loud. And even if you do, you still have to get have the gain up and you'll start getting noise. The more gain that you put on there, the more noise that you get. The only way around that would be to buy a nice, expensive interface, which you're looking maybe four or five hundred dollars up. Um, or if you already bought one of these and you're having that problem, the next easiest thing would be to get a mic booster. And this one I got from Sweetwater. Sweetwater, if you buy something from them, they're really nice people. They'll uh, they text you and say, make sure you got your uh, package. Ask you if you have any questions. They, they send some sweets with you, uh, some candies, some, some really good ones too. They're almost gone. Now, all you do is you just plug it in to both sides. You plug your mic, you'll have a cable for your mic. So you might wanna, you might wanna buy some extra cables. I bought these three footers. And so they say the shorter the better, the closer that you can get. And then there's a one uh, cable that goes into the XLR and they're female to male. So you'll just get the regular female to male. And on here, take note, on the back of here, there's probably somewhere, if you can see this, that you would turn on uh, the plus 48 volts. Normally I have that off. If I turn it on on the mic without this on there, then it makes like a buzzy, it just doesn't work. So normally this is off, but when you put this on, you have to turn this on. I didn't know that and it took a while to figure it out. I thought. I just thought it wouldn't work and it was defective, but I finally turned that on and it started working. So we're gonna take a look at this and see how it sounds with the mic booster and without the mic booster. So let's go ahead and we're gonna pause here. Our first test will be with the mic booster on and then we'll come back and do it with it off and then we'll listen to them both at the same time. Now, if you look over here, the mic booster is on and then we have it set to, somebody painted in here and accidentally put paint on there. We had the gain set to about 35 to 40% there, uh, under half. Normally you'll, we'll have to have it almost 75%, 80%, and that's when we start getting the noise. So let's go ahead and try it out here. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And you see how clean it is? Let's try it. One, two, three, testing one, two, three. Now we're gonna leave it at the same gain and we're gonna test it again. We're gonna record again. So we'll pause and come right back. Okay, now we're back. You can see we have it bypassed. We're bypassing and going directly into the interface and we're bypassing the booster. So let's see how it sounds. We haven't changed the gain. It's on the same as it was, about four, 35, 45%. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And you can see from the bar graph, let's listen to it. So you may not think that's a big deal, you just turn up the gain, but like I said, if you turn up the gain, we're gonna turn it up and you'll see it'll start adding noise into it. You can hear like a hum and background noise. It's just, it doesn't sound good, it doesn't sound clean. So I definitely am happy with this booster. I'm glad I got the booster. Another thing it helps you with, cause you can turn the gain down. You can sit there and talk normally. But what happens is, if you have a long video and you're talking and talking, you may speak up at the beginning to try to get the best audio possible, but then towards the end of the video, you'll start getting tired because you're trying to speak, you know, you're not speaking normally, you're speaking way up. And so you start getting tired and then you'll start going lower and lower and lower. And then towards the end of the video, it'll be real low. You can barely hear it. With this mic boost, you can boost it up. And when you're narrating your video, you can talk normally and your voice should sound normalized throughout the video. So let's go ahead and turn up the gain. We're gonna crank it up. Here we go, about 75%. Let's try it again. This is with no mic booster plugged directly into the interface with the gain turned way up. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. This is a test. We recorded some silence right here. And if you look at that, you can see the noise. 
See all that noise in there? And that's what we're talking about when you turn the gain way up. You don't have clean audio. So let's listen to this that we turn the gain up. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. This is a test. So you might not be able to hear it from there, but if you were here, uh, or if you're listening through a video, you can hear like a hiss or a, in the background. Sweetwater, a great company to order from. This product, thumbs up. This is one of the lower priced ones, but I'm very happy with it. Clark Mike Booster CM1. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts.